We going live. Looks like we're live. Wow. One try. It only took one try. Hey, Tyler. You're first. Carson. Sponge, how's it going? How is everyone today? What a, I know, only one time. It's amazing. I'm gonna try something while we're getting going here. What's up, John? K Town? Jer, how's it happening? Cardboard Legends, let's do this, indeed. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to change the thumbnail. I have no idea how to do that. Uh, hmm. Aha, I found it. Let's try this. This is a first. It's a first for old striker. Uh, desktop. Yes. 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 Oh, I think I did it. I think I did it. Might as well add a description while I'm here, eh? There we go. Let's see if this works. Nope, it's not made for kids. Relax, YouTube. There we go. <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen, give it a like. That's right, Cardboard Legends. Brandon, what's happening, brother? It's been a little while, eh, John? Yeah, well, it's been a few days. Waiting, so... We'll wait. Eh, we'll get a few more people in here. Gotta get those likes up. Remember, likes equals luck. That's all there is to it. So I had to go out and buy this box because my tribute didn't arrive in the mail on time. Not only did it not arrive on time, it's way late. So it was supposed to be here on Saturday. And I padded a nice cushion just in case. And it's still not here. So I only have one box of tribute, unfortunately. So the first box is going into the first break. We're going to do both breaks still, but I'm going to have to rip the tribute box for the second break tomorrow. Because it's a mixer, there's all kinds of stuff. We got all kinds of boxes to rip, so it'll have to be a two parter. What's up, Cardman John? Nina, how's it going? EG, what's happening? Yeah, so I'll probably have to repeat that a few times just so everybody knows, but we've only got the tribute for the first break. Wah wah. Either way, it'll crush. Card shop guy. Luckily he had one. Or else we wouldn't have had any. And that would have sucked. What's happening, Mark? Muskrat? I also have a friend named Muskrat. Kind of funny. One other thing before we get started, might as well. I forgot to add that to the auction. This is going in the auction too. Because a lot of people have been asking about it. So let's just throw it up for bid. Trench coat guy, nowhere to be found. Yeah. I know it's so expensive. Dude, I ordered it. I ordered two boxes of this and some some other stuff about a month and a half or two months ago. And I've just been I've just been waiting, 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 waiting. Finally, the dude shipped it out. He shipped it out on Wednesday last week. Priority mail. You know, that's two to three days. I got the tracking info. I've been staring at it on the computer screen for about three, four days now. And priority mail. It's been almost a week. And it's not coming from that far away. Normally when they ship stuff priority mail from the place that I got this, it's here the next day. One day is all it takes. It's right around the corner. So I don't know what the heck happened, but... We'll make it work. We will overcome, because that's what we do. Yeah, I know, retail's where it's at, man. That's why I've got a little bit of retail to add to each break so we can keep the price affordable, keep it down a little bit, as much as possible. 
and especially with the tribute you know it's so expensive that we can we can make mixers out of it and make it affordable so at least you have a chance to get a hit but there's still a bunch of other cards even if you don't get a hit out of tribute or you don't get any tribute cards you can still get something else that was the reasoning behind that another thing so we got the auction tomorrow if anybody would like to help me out any of the slammers shoot me an email i'm looking for two people one person to be my right hand my right hand and the other to be a backup during the stream so basically it'll just be to help out with the auction keeping track of what the bid what the like what the final bid was and doing the going once going twice so looking for a slammer and a backup to help that slammer two two people so shoot me an email t-h-e-o-n-e-s-t-r-y-k-e-r the one striker at gmail.com if you're interested in helping out it'll be tomorrow at about seven o'clock hopefully this comes in by then we'll rip the tribute for break number two tomorrow before the auction probably fired up around six o'clock give us plenty of time in between get everything situated settled what's up luke the second the second one we're gonna rip the rest of the cards tonight and we'll just rip the the box when it comes in hopefully i mean it there's a possibility it might even show up today sometime fingers crossed because it's on the move finally don't know where but if it shows up by the end of the stream we'll rip it if it shows up tomorrow we'll do it then if it doesn't come till thursday we'll do it then it'll be okay Paul, Paul, you'll be out of service. All right, man. You pulled a P action. Wow. That's awesome. Mail has been on point there. Mine has not been on point. Mine has been very slow. And like some stuff arrives on time. UPS has been shipping and FedEx seems like they're going okay. But USPS, not going fast. So as far as cards go, guys, I you know I still ship them out immediately. But it might take longer through the mail. It might take up to a week. But fear not, it'll be I. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the music, but we're in a different place. See, then it'll just switch to something like this. But I won't get struck. So that's all that matters. John, you've been building up your Alonzo Rookie PC. Good prices recently. Nice. Got a decent little Alonzo PC myself. Haven't received yours from the last break. Tracking shows it just showed up today. That's good. Yeah, it just kind of depends. It's really strange. Some people get it immediately. It's all like local, man, where it gets... Cause I can track all the cards too. Yes, I had to wait for a priority package for like three extra days. It, it got all the way to me from who knows where, halfway across country, and it just sat in the Detroit facility. Who knows, just like churning and sitting, get gathering dust. Who knows what happens there? But eventually, eventually, it makes its way here. Dollar super chat from John. What's up, brother? Appreciate that. Let's get that rolling. Getting the views up, getting the likes up, everything. Strikerbreaks.com. I don't have any breaks listed right now, but on a positive, you know, the the good thing about the delay is that we'll have one extra box of tribute to add to the next break. I had a lot of people emailing me, calling, um, calling for more tribute, and I got one more box. So we'll do one more tribute break, maybe later on this week. I got a lot of shipping and stuff to do. Probably like maybe a Friday or Saturday kind of deal. I'll do another mixer with some tribute and a few other hobby boxes and some retail. Just mix it up. Similar to this. I don't have any more monster boxes, so we'll have to put something else in there. Prime's taking three days, normally one. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. Waiting on PSA too. 
bunch of PSA cards. I'm sure that's going to just take forever. All right, well, we're getting close. What do you guys say we do the randomization? Hit that thumbs up. That's right, dude. That's right, Brent. One last look at that. And I'll put it with the rest of the auction cards. Yeah, Tribute's got some sweet looking ones. Like this song feels like we're in, I don't know, like some kind of 80s movie, maybe like a Blade Runner or something. A little bit of like early electronica. PSA 90 days, yeah, but who knows now? Didn't they shut down for you know what? It's gonna be delayed even more. And that's 90 business days, not 90 days. Yeah, Tron, yes. Good call, Mark. Mark's always on top of everything. That was my dad's favorite movie, Tron. Big sci-fi buff. Frank Herbert this is his favorite author. All right, Rone Bear in the house? Rone Bear! Rone Bear, the news from the front lines is grave. We only have one box of tribute to break. I don't know if we'll make it through the winter. But we got tons of boxes to rip though. Tons, tons and tons. Okay. Tron Legacy, yeah, that's pretty tight. All right, so let's start it off with the teams. Come on, easy, easy there, okay. Three times. There one. There two. And there's three. We got the Pirates leading off, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a cold summer. <laughs> summer. It's going to be abnormally cold. Oops. Got to grab the rest of that pee. Hold on. There we go. We're just gonna live in the matrix today with this music. It's not too wild though. It's not just like the like the trance stuff. It's a little more. It's got a little more meat to it. It sounds like we're about to live out our destiny, doesn't it? Let's turn it up a little bit. This one's called Ascension. Okay, how many times? Four times. Remember, shoot me an email if you guys want to help me out at the auction tomorrow. I'm looking for two volunteers. Whoa, now we're getting crazy. One. Two. Three and four. Definitely in the Matrix. I am the one. Neo. The one the prophecies spoke of. Here to deliver the fire and the gravy. Are you ready? That was an abrupt end. <laughs> okay. Leading off, starting from the top. Diamondbacks, Nina. Come on, can we go down? Mm. 
Braves, Chad J. Orioles, Kenneth W. Red Sox, Eric R. Cubs, Nina, White Sox, Chad P. Red Zach B. Indians, Colin N. Rockies, Michael M. Tigers, Carlos A. Astros, Colin N. Royals, Michael O. Angels, Charles C. Dodgers, Robert B. Marlins, Michael H. Brewers, Zach B. Twins, Nathan C. Mets, Brian K. Yankees, Cubby. Athletics, Chad P. Phillies, Brandon M. Pirates, Brian K. Padres, Mark B. Giants, Brandon M. Mariners, Brandon K. Cardinals, Jeff V. Rays, Kenny back in the house. Rangers, Nina. Blue Jays, Eric R. And Nationals, Chad P. Let's go! Let's go! Good luck. Alright, let me drop that link for you guys. Dropping in three, two, one. Boom. Okay. Uh, now I gotta print it out. All the steps. What's happening now? What's the music all about now? We're, now we're floating in the clouds. It's so beautiful. There's a dove. In the sunshine. Bursting the beautiful sunshine. All right, let me grab my sheet. I'll be right back. Just... Oh, that's why. It's way too high. There we go. Dave Drago, what's happening, brother? Full of amazing hits, I know. It's so glorious. Best release, eh? Hmm. So far, yeah. I can't wait to do the best of 2020 baseball cards at the end of the year because there's so many more. It's going to take a lot longer to do because there's so many more contenders and also the, the strange part is going to be figuring out so do what do you use you got to use when determining what the best release is you have to use the current market price so lord knows what this is going to go up to it's probably gonna be over 400 before we know it card shop guy said 500 he charged me an arm and a leg for this, let me tell you. But he's like, rah, 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 it's probably going to go up to about 500. I was like, what? So we'll have to see about that. But So when you're doing the best of, like, what do you use? There could be two, there could be like a two tiered approach when it came out, like the price when it came out, and then the price at the current time of making the video. That way you can kind of see how, how the price fluctuates with the quality of the release. That might be fun. Almost bought a for three ten, dude. That's an amazing price for this. If you could get it for three ten, uh, you could just buy it and flip it. King Epic, would you like a shout out? Shout out. Yeah, card shop guy's a little bit of a grabbler, but I don't blame him. He's got to make a living too, you know. He doesn't. Usually his prices are pretty close to being to being right on. But card shop guy's gotta make a buck too. Oh I, yep, I saw that Nina. I was like, I thought you were you know what I thought it was? I thought you were getting sneaky with the 
because like I put the buy-ins in order of when when they're purchased so like just kind of go in order so I thought maybe you were waiting so that your name was separated on the list you know like if you buy in all at once your name's going to be three times in a row tink 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 but if you were say you bought in like two different times or three different times your name will probably be spread out on the list and then it goes into the randomizer I don't know that's what that's what I thought maybe you're thinking that way It was three fifty by lunch. Yeah, I know, man. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? So, let me get all the cards here. We gotta. We can't do this first. We gotta. We gotta save it. We gotta defer the gratification. We got two other hobby boxes too in the break. You didn't miss anything, Travis. We haven't even started. I like the music. It, it, this is really making the break epic. So I included, we got a hobby box of this, but I included two of these so that we could get coupons, so I could send coupons too. There's a, there's a method to my madness. These breaks are actually thought out very, in depth like there's a lot of thinking that goes into them to try to maximize value quality hits everything what's up baseball card collecting this is the epic epic music so I'll try to send a coupon with everyone there's only two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten of them. So we'll have 20 coupons. I don't know how many buy-ins there were. Some people might not get one, but I'll try. Oop, wrong way. movie it's getting ready to start i'm just delaying it so you guys are so anxious all right let's do it good luck everyone here we go it's, but who knows what will happen after this it could be anything the next song could be anything it could be just like full-blown techno it could be heavy metal oh what do we have i'm excited to see what what the music has in store for us next Waiting in line at Space Mountain, it does seem like that. That's hilarious. No way. That's that same PSP. We got it again. Okay, sweet. Got an SP in the first blaster box. That's a great sign. Going to Brian. Now, like, almost feels like Mortal Kombat, the movie, is getting ready to start up. Mortal Kombat! It's a great start. Going to Brian. Great start. And a Reese turkey. Yeah, the Mortal. Yeah, that is a pretty good soundtrack. Got the Reese eighty five, Posey Turkey. Yeah, that should be, that should be a Father's Day card. <laughs> That's hilarious, Dave. Good call. Or maybe like an inspirational, like a like a PSA, like if he can do it, anybody can. Like to the kids, if that body can do it, anybody can. Ooh, that that's actually that's not bad. 
Yes, sir, Willie. Let me drop that link. I got it right here. All right, there's the Patreon link if you want to get in. If you want to be notified when the breaks take place. So, it continues. A chrome turkey in every blaster box. This one's the Springer. Going to Colin. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Greg. That is... That's the reason you're all here. Nobody cares about the cards. You guys just want to hear my hot takes. I understand. The cards are just the whipped cream on top. What do we have here? Is that a Brooks Robinson? It's a Cincinnati Reds card. That's a Frank Robinson, sorry. Frank Robinson, obviously. That one is going to Zach. I know it's a big one, a big card. Had to make a special showing on the screen. Clayton Claus. Oh yeah, he was already involved. He's always involved. It's just slightly off screen. So what else are we going to get in this box, do you think? Because we got that. There it is. We're going to get a... So we got a Chrome Turkey. We got an SP. And here comes a Rainbow Benintendi. That's why we love the blasters. Always something juicy. Benintendi going to... Who's it going to? Eric. It's going to Eric. Nice little rainbow. And the Pete Turkey. Mm -hmm. They do that a lot. Have you guys noticed they do that a lot? You get the same card... Especially if it's a rainbow. John, how dare you? How dare you? Anything else? Dustin May? Might get a couple rookies. That'd be nice, eh? Nico and Dustin May top the rookie list so far out of this box. Severino. And Otani. So that's the second Otani. How can I remember this stuff? Second Otani turkey that I've seen. Which isn't that much. I mean, it's not that big of a checklist for the turkeys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the wind that was supposed to knock out the entire grid didn't knock anything out. Just another fear campaign, guys. Don't worry. It's coming your way if you're on the East Coast, but do not worry. Guys, what a spectacular box because not only did we get an SP. Dude, we got an SP, a rainbow, a, a chrome turkey, and a goldish. 1095 of 2020. I think the key is these target blasters. The target blasters are really nice. I'm just going to Cubby. And the Albies. Okay, so not only did we get all of that stuff, we got this one. Anybody care to guess? Does anybody care to guess? Yeah, it's freezing cold. Yankees and Red Sox should be hot in the tribute box. There's a lot of good teams. Pretty much every everybody is good, I think. Hopefully a trout. I don't think I've seen the trout. It is. It's a Miggy. We've gotten three of these, I think. Maybe two. Two or three of these we've pulled so far. But that's a Marlins Miggy. So Michael H. Got a little bit of gravy. A little bonus. He was thinking he was going to get... Nothing very good, but he got that. Okay. Why don't we... We're going to have all kinds of fun, guys. Why don't we do this one? All kinds of good stuff. 
get it out of the plastic in the box so that Clayton can have a direct effect. Let's get a tattoo. I haven't seen these yet. I want a tattoo out of here for you guys. Yeah, I know. Look at him. Like this area of Cabrera right here, like that area and then that area and then that area has gained since this picture, a hundred pounds. Just those areas I pointed out. No, I haven't seen a tattoo. They gotta be crazy rare. Let's check it out. Tattoo, tattoo, how rare are you, tattoo? Oh, there it is, one out of 728. So if we get a tattoo, that's crazy. What's up, Brandon? Yeah, Miggy looked great in spring training. Just wait till he throws his back out again or something. Something will happen. Start Starts hitting the bottle again. Now we've reached the point of the break when the mystery has, a, has shown its face. What is the mystery? The mystery is when will the other boxes of tribute arrive in the mail? Hmm. Sneaky, sneaky mystery. Everybody's doing great. All right. So the goal out of this box is to get a tattoo. The second goal is to get some nice SPs. The third goal, get the big rookies. And the fourth goal is to get like, I don't know, maybe a French text or some kind of rare card. Well, there's the sixth goal, Williams Astudio. So we got that taken care of. What else? Any other goals for this box? Oh my gosh, dude. Penny sleeves and top loaders are more valuable than gold these days. <laughs> if you've been to the Ultra Pro website, everything is sold out. It's crazy. And the top loaders on eBay are outrageous. They're... They're so expensive that they're not even worth buying. I'd rather drive to every mire in the state and buy their top loaders than spend 50 cents per top loader on eBay. All right, Fergie Jenkins and Steven Strasberg. Yeah, I'll go back it, back through and check out the SPs. That one's going to the Cubs. All right. How many of our goals did we accomplish? Well, we got a Robbie Ray SP. That one's going to Nina. We got... Oh, a Tim Anderson SP. Nice call out. We got... That one's going to Chad, by the way. See what else we got. I don't see any Frenchies. Two? Are we only gonna get two? Nope, we got three. Giancarlo Stanton. Cubby. And that'll be it. So we got three SPs. It's not too bad. Seems like that's about the rate that you get them. About three of them per box. Let's get into the gypsy. You've been a bad boy, gypsy. You will get bill hooked. I get 
too deep in there. Oh yeah, Dave, they sent me that email. YouTube sent me that email about the membership thing after, after you talked about it in your stream the other night. So that's pretty sweet. I'm going to set up memberships for the channel at a very inexpensive price so that anybody could afford it. It's going to be $1.99 per month. So you get your little fancy avatars and your name gets highlighted and all that good stuff. Whenever it gets approved, who knows how that works. It's supposed to be in like 24 hours. So look forward to that, guys, to becoming a member on the channel. You will be known as a hitter. We got hitters and slammers. A hitter is a member of this, and a slammer is a member of the Patreon. You can become both. Starts at 401, Goody. Check the backs of all these. Seems like it was working out a little bit better. There's more value in the 399. Yeah, I don't want to make it too expensive because I'm not offering anything really. I, they have like a whole list of perks and things, and none of the perks seem to. I don't know. I'd rather just make it really inexpensive. So let's see if this continues. So I've noticed that if you get the star trout card, the base card is in there as well somewhere in the box. We'll see. That one's going to Charles. Oh. Yeah, YouTube takes 30% of it. But, you know... Who cares? Who cares how much they take. You wouldn't get anything if it wasn't for them putting it together. Did you guys see any? Where's our something something? Did, have you seen anything yet? Got a couple more packs. Oh, I've got some eBay bucks that I need to spend before the month is up. Tatis! I don't know what to get. I'm going to buy a single. And I'm thinking... There's a Devers on eBay. A blue Devers first. That I've been eyeballing for a while. It's raw. But it looks like it's got some some white. Some white all around. Like a couple different spots. There's our something. It's a blue or an indigo. So, I don't know. But I, I definitely want to get a Devers first. Who's it going to be? It's Adavino. Going to the Yanks. That one's going to Cubby. Just got some Yanks already. That one's out of 250. It must be an Indigo. What's up, Michael? How you doing? Bill Hook who? Kikuchi? Is that who we're talking about? He's already been abused. All right, another good box. So we got the SP. This has been a great box. Got the Babe Ruth SP. That one's going to Cubby too. Crushing Cubby. Now for the greens. Come on. Come on. Got the Nola, a little something at least. Three out of five rookies, only one of them is a pitcher. 
Not too bad. Who's got Seattle? Brandon K's got Seattle. Do we'll do one of these and then we're gonna do a hobby box. So we'll find something something good in the hobby box, hopefully. Got a couple to choose from. I'll probably do Oh, maybe we'll do both of the hobby boxes next. Well, two out of three, I guess, because the tribute's technically a hobby. You got... What, are you using a different screen name? Or is that just, uh, I can never keep track. I mean, it's hard. I try to keep track of everybody's real name with their screen name, but man, it's, it's a tough ask. Turbo ripping the monster. Now we are in a Turkish bazaar and there is their own version of trench coat guy, but he is selling healing crystals and animals, live animals out of his trench coat. Healing crystals and live animals. That's all I could come up with. What do you think Turkish Bazaar trench coat guy might be selling? What's up, Wrecking Ball? You've got good silver parallels? Oh. 369 from Roan Bear. Spark up the hookah, he says. Well, I don't have a hookah up here. This time I don't. I actually bought my wife a hookah way back. Like... When we first started dating, at least like 10, 12 years ago, she never used it once. You know, whatever. Got to try. Got to try every once in a while to, oh, look at that nasty little bend in that card. Hopefully it's somebody that sucks. Hopefully it's you know who. Appreciate the super chat, Rome Bear. You are the man. You know it. Cast in. Where you at? Well done. We need to at least get a logo swap or nameplate, maybe a blue. I, don't, I didn't see any blues in there, so that means potentially that we have something better. Got a Yordan. So, our first Yordan. Going to Colin. Let me plug my computer in before I get the message. There we go. Zach! Oh, playground time. Awesome. Yeah, let me drop that link for you, buddy. There you go, I'll just hold that on the screen too, so you can check it out. I never used the hookah, if that's what you're talking about, Brian. I never used it either. I don't know whatever ended up happening to it. I think we threw in the trash. <laughs> oh, we never used it. What a waste, because it, it wasn't cheap. I mean, it was a cheap one, but it wasn't cheap. Last time I used a hookah was 2000, 2002. Yeah.
All right, where's our special thing? We gotta get something special out of here. Gotta get something. Another Babe Ruth SP, no way. No way. Two Babe Ruth SPs. That's crazy. Cubby swimming in babes. All right, let's look at the back, see if we got any bazookas. Maybe there's a bazooka. Maybe. Yeah, there was one. Sweet. It is a Logan Allen. No way. A Logan Allen going to Colin. We got one. That is spectacular. I knew there was gonna be a little something special if we didn't get our normal specialty. What do you say, we set it like that? There's number two. Hundred and nineteen viewers, forty-three likes. You guys will have to help me. My math's a little bit slow today. Does that make sense? Or is it just me? Something's not right with those numbers. We gotta put the babes. Gotta put the babes up here. Two babes. with a very interesting placement of the bat. Hmm. Okay, yeah, get those likes up. That's what I'm talking about. We got two silvers, two packs of silvers. Can we get a Robert? What about a Yordan? How about a bow? Maybe even a Lux? Tommy LaStella, I told you to stay home. I actually like LaStella a little bit. Austin Riley, Jake Rogers, you better be good. Well, I don't know about that one, guys. They're, that was kind of a swing and a miss. But we can do better. All right, let's get some hits. Yeah, now we're going to get some hits. And it deserves a bill hooking, I think, if I can find a good hook spot. Who is the bazooka? Logan Allen. Pitcher. That's why it's better to look at the bazooka part. Oh, that was the smoothest bill hook I've ever seen. Still have yet to sharpen old Billy. Yeah, the bazooka backs are money. We really are. Time for the hit parade. We're getting three autographs, guys. I guess it's three autos or memorabilia cards, whatever. Let's make it three autos. Why don't we get four? How about, oh, has anybody seen a hot box? Do they have hot boxes of these? If they do, let's get one. If they don't, let's get one. You like that? Just get one, no matter if it's a thing or not. It'll be a thing. We can make it a thing. Yes, they do have hot boxes. Oh, you talking about Adley. Already, there's already a hit.
card switched all over. Oh, it's not a hit, it was that stinky, stinky shill card. Oh, you stinky shill. I'm scared to whip this up at the light because I, I mean, this is a tough one. Let's see. Oh man, it's gonna take a, a lot of, yeah. Oh, I got a dinger, a light dinger. I don't know if you can hear it. I struggled getting it up there though. Kino, rated rookie. Got the Moncada blue. You made some card break videos, Rob? Yeah, if, if anybody has videos they want me to check out, either put it in the comments or email me with the link so I can remember to check it out. Okay, we got our first numbered card. It's a Freddie Freeman to 500. 568 extra base hits. Let's go to Chad. El Nino. Got a white dinger. That one doesn't make a ding. So you gotta have the thin card stock to get a ding. If you have a thicker shill card like that, it just kind of goes bong. It's more of a bonger. Dinger and a bonger. Or a gonger. It's kind of like a gong. That's a sweet one. Look at that fanciness. Wow. Looks like the fabric of space time. Verlander. To 349. That's really cool going to Colin. Got the Eloy. Back to back. Got a hot box. How are you? How can you tell it's a hot box? Because there's a numbered one in every box, uh, every pack. First time live, thank you. Thanks, Jason. Swing by, man. We love everybody hanging out. It's a great community here. Everybody's awesome. Everybody has a good time. No drama, just crushing. That's a thick one, better not be a shill, or we're gonna get another gonger out of it. You know what I haven't done in a long time? I'm gonna do it right now. There's one. Can't scroll up on my chat, sorry guys. Oh, there it is. There we go, hold up. There we go. They've been waiting a long time. Okay, congratulations, you've been knighted. Stanton, another numbered card to 650. You know, if this means it's a hot box, getting all these numbered cards, I think the one I opened for my PC was a hot box because there are tons of numbered ones. But then we opened up a couple blasters. Yep, it's a shill. Get out of here, shill. Got a really. Oh, whoa. Try it again. <laughs> Maybe next time. Pat it. There's a Robert. Okay, so we got one Robert going to Chad. Must have been good luck. Oh, is it the blue parallel in every pack that makes it a hot? I mean, there's schmanciness in every one of these. Vladdy and Aaron Judge, Dominator. Look at that one. Woo! To $9.99. Another time space bender. Definitely in the Matrix. Josh Bell, another blue, Diamond Kings. Mm 
that hit your eye? Maybe. Is that another shill? So many shills. I hate them. So annoying. This card's got that rough back to it. Star parallel. Oh! Ho, ho. That's a good sign right there. That's a big old bonger. G gonger. I don't know. Whatever we're calling it. I'm having as much fun doing that as I am opening the cards. Yeah, Don Ross is juiced. Okay, the baby shark, Brennan McKay. It's a pretty sweet one. Going to Kenny. And then the Kevin Mitchell blue. And a trout. I like how they slid that trout in there. Sneaky. A lot of people love Don Russ this year. I get quite a few messages about people wanting me to put more Don Russ in the breaks. So, I obliged. Tim Anderson to 335. Look at that average. Hit 335 last year. Not a fluke. Oh, there's a good one. The blue Aquino rated rookie. Okay. We'll have to put that up on a stand. It's schmancy. Got a few hobbies so far, yeah. I mean, I recommend if you're gonna get some Don Russ, just go ahead and get the hobby box. I think they're way better, but there's no way to tell because they don't have the odds on there, so we can't calculate, make a spreadsheet video or anything. So we just gotta anecdotally figure it out. Here's a good Oh, that's a banger. The Bobby Witt Jr. rated prospect, numbered to 249. Bang, going to Michael. That is sick. Look at that thing. Whoo! Brian, I haven't found any of those Megas out and about. Have not found any of them. If I do, I'll buy one or two. Maybe we can throw it in a break or something, but no luck. Yeah, I know, that's right. Just when you thought KC was wah, wah. That's another good reason for mixers because if I wouldn't have put a Don Russ in, then Kansas City would have been a little crappy, but no, no. Megas are on the Target website. Oh. Isaac, what's up? Good to see you, buddy. Another shill, another dinger. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Barely, just barely. Got up there, though. Yard maintenance. Go crush it. Got a lot of yard maintenance done in the last three weeks. Donna 99 Super Chat from Zach. Yeah, Aquino, the elderly rook. That's right. Old man Aquino. 20, all 26 years of him. Or is he 27 now? Okay, there's our first official hit. I bet you it's going to be a parallel. Let's see. You guys ready? Oh, the legend, Cole Tucker. Sweet. That is not bad on that stock, too. I have not seen any on that stock in particular. What time is the auction? I think 7 o'clock. We'll probably do it at 7, but if I get the that second box of tribute, then I'll start it up at like six. We'll rip the tribute, we'll hang out a little bit, we'll make sure everything's cool, and then, then we'll do the auction around seven. There we go. And then, just when you thought, Cole Tucker auto, we got the blue El Nino. 
That's a bad card. I love it. I love it. Going to Mark. Yaz is old too, Dave. That's right. Yaz is even older. Like, significantly older. Why did it take so long for him to break in? Still a mystery that we haven't solved. Chomo? Max? Yelly? Two more hits. Where are they? They're coming soon. Okay, Josh Bell, another parallel. This one's to 400. 936 OPS in 2019. Imagine how high it would have been if you wouldn't have fallen off. Whew, you would have had an OPS over 1,000. Getting into Miguel Cabrera territory. Albert Pujols, Mike Trout territory. You got a wrench. I just snuck it in on you. Here we go. Freeman. Is that a shill? Or is it a hit? It's another shill. Charlie Morton to 650. The 1,000th strikeout milestone. I'm going to Kenny. Come on, babe. Oh, that was an aggressive one. Wow. I'm getting better. See, I figured out I need to, like, I can't just flick it. I have to, like, get my arm into it a little bit. I know, it's always filled with shills. I hate the shills. I like shills in retail. I don't like shills in hobby. It makes no sense to me. Who's buying one pack of Don Russ at their hobby shop? I'm sure it happens, but not enough to waste all that money and space. I don't know how much money. It's probably not that much money, but... Okay, come on. This looks fancy. It is. Maybe Okay, so this one's probably... I'm going to guess one of three players. Because those are like the only three I've seen. Tatis, Vladdy, or Jordan. Let's see. Drop it down. Oh, who is that? Can you guys tell? It's a Keston. Where you at? Well done. Okay, so now I know that now playing has Keston. Going to the Brew Crew. Going to Zach. Got a blue Robbie Ray. I know those now playing cards are awesome. They really are. I've got the Yordan. I'll show you mine. This one is. Got the Yordan. Oh, that's not a now playing. My bad. I got the Tatis and the Vladdy. Well, who knows where those are? I thought they were right there. Still looking for two more autos out of here. They're going to be coming soon. There's only a couple packs left. Well, by a couple, I mean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot. The worst part about Don Russ is having to sort. Because normally, like in all the normal cards... I think I usually my eye goes to the logo, but for these, got to go to that. My eye goes there to the helmet. Almost every card. Devers, Diamond King. Robert with a dollar ninety nine super chat. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Did you get your cards yet, Robert? Because you're across the country. So that would be crazy if you did. 
just trying to see where everybody's at, but. As far as getting their cards, everything's taking longer now. Because of the situation. All right. Come on now. Oh, it's a fire. It's a yelly. To 75. Fire. That's awesome. That one's going to Zach. All right. These, all the emoji ones, not all, but some of the emoji ones have grown on me. I do like the fire. I do like the fire. I don't like the eyeballs, but since it is low numbered, I'm, I've got like a... I don't know, um, what would you call it? It's like, it's like cognitive dissonance because I, I don't want to like the emoji things, but I like low numbered cards. So there's a little internal struggle in my mind with whether I like them or not. Oh, there's the eyeball one, of course, right on cue. And it is, well, it's Texas, so what do you guys think? Who from Texas? Joey Gallo? Yep. Nope. Elvis to 25. Oh, the eyes. Why did the eyes have to be numbered to 25? I would love them. They, they have grown on me. I hated them at first, but they have grown on me. That one's going to Nina. Sweet, Nina. That's pretty awesome, though. We got a fire. We got a eyeball. That's a strange looking shill. It's cut all funny. There we go. I'm getting better. Dollar Tree Yellows. I'm going to have to swing through the Dollar Tree if they're open. Are your Dollar Trees open around you guys? Yeah, Brett. It's a love-hate relationship. Oscar, I, I do giveaways, yeah. I did one not too long ago. A huge a flat rate box full of cards. There are thousands of cards in there. Also, I put some blaster boxes and just all kinds of stuff in there. A tin, so that is like $100 plus worth of stuff. In the last one, and I've got another one that's just sitting there, but I haven't had time to deal with it. All right, this is, this is one of those. Oh, sweet. All right, guys, it's a Torkelson. He is the potential number one overall pick in this year's draft. So that's a really good one. Really nice one. But it, it's going to the player on the back. Bragman, it's going to Houston. So that one's going to Colin. That's a banger. To $9.99. Yeah. Actually, I like that. That one's going on a stand. I'm going to have to consolidate some of the Don Ross when we get into some bigger hits. But for now, they each get their own stand. All right, what? We got two two autos left in here then, right? Both of these packs should have an auto. It should be an auto or no, it should be an auto and a relic. Here we go. Okay. There it is. Make you wait. Nah, I'll do it right now. Here we go. It's not Walker Bueller. You Darvish. You don't see a lot of you Darvish autographs. But that one's going to Nina. Maybe you picked the right one to buy three into, Nina. It's been hitting so far. I think that's the better way to do it. Like if you're gonna buy into both, 
I think it's funner to buy into both. But math- mathematically, if you buy th- like three buy-ins into one, I think it's mathematically better than splitting them up into two. There's the thicky. thick better not be a shill okay it's not a shill thank god and I'm gonna do the quick flip and just flip it upside down ready it looks like a magic trick because it flips so fast the frame rate can't catch up here we go three two one flip (laughs) it's a unit a big unit. Randy Johnson. What's up, Seattle? Brandon. Let me sleeve that up for you. I don't know if that's going to fit in a regular one. Might have to get a thicky. Nope, it fits. Plain white one. Big unit, right on the unit. There we go. Can you see that? Is it in the frame? Just barely. Yeah, yep, it is. Anthony K. Paquito! Oh, there we go. Okay, that was a nice box, man. Tons of hits. Tons of numbered. Low numbered, high numbered, all kinds of numbered. Got the Bobby Witt out of there. Yeah, Torkelson. Unexpected. Don Ross always has some unexpected, really young guys. All right. Well, what do you say? Let's go back. Let's start it all over again. Here we go. These packs feel so much thicker. Okay, man, that first little blaster we got out of this was spectacular. See if we can match that. Match it with a willy. Gonna guess big unit SP? Might as well be. Big unit kind of day. damage there's our chrome turkey every time Walker Bueller going to the LA Dodgers Robert B oh yeah been it's been a little while since we got a 101 i think the last one was that printing plate so it's about time for another one i think oh look at that that one's rough 
Good thing it's just Jacoby Jones. Okay, got a Vladdy. Got a Dodgers. And a Freeman. And a Trout. Pretty nice pack. She got a chrome refractor of Acuna. Nice. Out of a Mega. Okay, got a Gavin Lux. I think that's the first Lux that we've gotten so far. We got that one. That's Oh yeah, Robert. So a couple Robert hits. Tops now Verlander, AJ Puck. Uh, it just had like a something wrong with it. I don't know. It was, look, I'll show you. Look at that. Totally damaged. Is that what I think it is? Oh, I thought we were, we were going to get something crazy. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, it's a Matt Chapman. And a Puig. We'll be doing the tribute. We got one, we got a hobby box of series one, a monster box of Gypsy, and a blaster of Gypsy, a blaster of Heritage, and we got the tribute. So that's what's left. So stay tuned. Okay, got the Bryce, rainbow foil Bryce. I was going to a BMAC. Judge Turkey. Last regular pack. Cunha. Decades next to Cunha. Going to Chad J. Yeah, Turkey Hoskins. All right. It's an Altuve. That's the first time I've seen this one. Commemorative medallion, Altuve. That looks so strange. How's that? Because that could totally be his head. The guy in the background. Like, that's his body and that's his head. Instead, his head's tucked in. That's pretty wild. All right. And put him with Miggy. Let's go down this road. Card shop guy had a couple of these. He's selling for like 60 bucks. Notice these on blowout too. They're like 60 bucks on blowout. Close to it. Yeah, three people on his rookie card. That is kind of weird. Let it soak on the silvers. There's not a GQ hobby in here, but I'm going to get some more GQ hobby. You enjoying the screen? stream? Good. Just, uh, yeah, we got the likes are way up. That's good. 
you know, if we can get the likes to where the concurrent viewers are, that'd be spectacular for, for everybody's luck. But you guys are doing excellent as usual. If you guys know anybody that likes cards and they don't know about my channel, share. Share it with your friends, your pals. Word of mouth. It's good stuff. What is that down there? Oh, okay. I saw a strange back to one of these cards. Thanks, Brian. Okay, let's do this. We've got a Vladdy fortune teller. Going to Eric. There's our little something something. Missing nameplate. Nelson Cruz. That's going to Nathan. Got to add that to the collection of... Gypsy specials. Special gypsies. Which we don't really have. We got a couple of those SPs. But that's the first. I mean, we got a blue. It's our first nameplate that we've gotten. A missing nameplate. Another one of these. The star. Mike Trout. Charles, double, double your pleasure with the Mike Trouts. Discount Trout. I wonder if we're going to get the regular base Trout. Got a Kofax, so got an SP. We got a missing nameplate. Two goodies so far out of here. See if there's a bazooka or something. I doubt it. Asking for quite a lot. We've been really lucky with the bazookas out of all this retail stuff. Okay, sweet. The Lux. The Lux rookie. Gypsy. All right, let me check the back of these just to make sure. Yeah, that Sandy's sweet. Still got the silvers. This time, we're gonna get a good silver. Come on. It's been soaking in Clayton. Soaking in Clayton juices. It's gotta be something good in here. Come on. The pool holes. There we go, silver trout. Silver trout, baby, that's right. Charles crushing. Anything else? How about a couple? How about a couple good ones? Okay, the silver trout will have to do. Do you think silver tr silver trout gets his own stand? Union, what's up? Yeah, silver trout. Let's see. Does someone get covered up or does he get his own stand? He can sit over here. Have this area all to himself. Okay. We're getting close, guys. Here's a little tease. It's coming. There's a lot to break. I, sh I, I think I underestimated how much there was in this break, but. Now I know. It's probably gonna be like an hour and a half, at least, for the break. Total time. Yeah, tribute's awesome. so much better than last year's last year's tribute had like nobody in it I mean you could get trout and, you know some hall of famers and stuff but it didn't have any rookies 
any awesome rookies because there were no awesome rookies when it came out. It, well, I mean, it was known that Vlad was going to come up and that Tatis was starting the season up, but and Eloy, but I don't think Eloy was even in it. Oh yeah, that seal is numbered. It's a gold. Number to 50, baby. This was a gift. Oh, look at that. Look what we got there. You see that shining through? What a spectacular blaster. That little jewel is one out of 244 packs. That's in the bottom. I'll just go like that. See what we can find. We'll fly through this because I cannot wait to see who that card is. The NASDAQ. We'll check for SPs after. Willie. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Where is it at? Is it? Is it? It's a Lewis Brinson. It's a Lewis Brinson. I'll be I'll be horn swoggled. We got a Marlins hit, ladies and gentlemen. Michael. Michael H. So we got two schmancy back hits so far. Why don't you go down there, Lewis? Just so we see that you're yellow. French text. Every time we get a French text, it shocks me out of these blasters. It's so, it's way easier. I feel like pulling up the spreadsheet and seeing what, like how much better the odds are in these blasters than anything else to get those French texts. Okay, we've got a DeGrom high number. We, there's bound to be a couple more. Usually it's three. Oh no, that's, no, that's not right. Is it? I think it was three last time. We only got one out of that. But the French text and a DeGrom high number. Number 406. Okay, this is the last blaster box, guys. For break number one. Yeah, it'd be spectacular if they if they stuck with just awesome players in the checklist, the French text checklist, but they can't all be winners. That's what drives up the price on the big names. Just opened one of those, Darren. A Heritage. Did you get anything good? Makes me wonder, like, what are they possibly... Well, I guess Luis Robert will be in high number. But I'm thinking about high number, and it's like usually high number is the, the, where it's at. But this year, I think the regular heritage might be, might be better than high number. Oh, you got a McKay bazooka back? That's awesome. That's a good one to get. So we got a Max... Starting off. 
and a name play. So there's our something. Another KC hit. Michael. Good time to get KC. And another Koufax. We got two Babe Ruth SPs and two Sandy Koufax SPs. We've gotten an SP out of every single box of Gypsy. Unreal. So two something somethings. It's probably going to be it, but Aquino. See if we can't get any of the rooks. Wheel of Fortune, Acuna. That's about it. Oh, do you guys remember this song? This is the Space Reggae song. Space Reggae. Still got the greens. Rasta. You got the Alvarez, but the corner was bent. Oh, it sucks. Nothing. Oh, oh. Okay, one more box, guys, and then we get into the tribute. But we got a hobby, a heavy hobby box. Let me get the plastic off of here. It deserves a bill hook. The green packs are so tough. I never get anything good. I think we got an Aquino, and that was the best one we got so far. Big old hobby. We got a silver pack. Don't forget about the silver pack. The underrated silver pack. And so the whole reason, not the whole reason, but there's like two reasons to get the hobby, hobby boxes. Reason number one, silver pack. Reason number two, the clear cards. You can only get the clear and hobby. I'm gonna do a little half stack. Yeah, 390 on blowout for that for that tribute. What's up, Rage? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, my man. Change your name again. Rage number 508 card breaks. Oh man, if we got a golden ticket. Oh, I know. It's they're still floating around, guys. It I don't know. If I get a golden ticket, that's gotta be fate. Destiny. It's my destiny to get a golden ticket for some for some special special slammer or hitter. Jeff in the house. Hey Schlarzy, how's it going? Glad I'm breaking today? Good, me too. Alright, I wish they weren't all flipped upside down. Why do they gotta flip them upside down? Because then I gotta turn them right side up. Okay, first one, first hit is... A. Andrew Kashner. Rainbow. And that one is going to Eric. We got a McKay. We've got a. Oh! Yeah! The die cut, the Mike Trout die cut. I've not seen that one yet. That's a beauty. 
Charles. Man, you've been gonna get some trouts, brother. That's worthy of a stand. I almost feel like taking Lewis. I'm gonna put him with the other trout. Silver trout and die cut trout. Wow. And our hit is in this pile too. Oh, the upside down cards just drive me crazy. Cause then as soon as I flip it over like this, sure enough, it's time to flip it back the other way. Oh, look at this. Got a vintage stock. Okay, so it's looking good so far. We've got the Cardinals vintage stock, number to 99. Jeff, just in time, Jeff. That one's going to you, brother. Look at that. That's sweet. What am I gonna do with that one? The stands are stands are becoming a commodity as usual. Let me find a couple more. What's up, Floyd? Another trout. You want to know what a game killer is? The flipping around. Drives me crazy. <laughs> At least do a couple in a row before I got to flip it back. All right, here it comes. It's our relic. Flipping it. Backside of Yelich. It is. Oh, a Mark McGuire. Wow. 85. That's one of the better ones. If you're just going to get a normal one, actual Mark McGuire game used memorabilia. Spectacular. Going to Chad. You can get that guy taken care of for you. Bobby. All right. Better than some bum, eh? Space is getting overrun. I'm just going to not flip them. Bryce, home run challenge. Going to BMAC. I'm going to not flip them. That's, that's the only way I can get through this without losing my mind. Flatty Daddy. It makes me want to flip them though. I don't know if I'm going to be able to not flip them. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, no. It tricked me. Oh, it's, it's a cruel, cruel trick you're playing, Tops. And I'll remember it. Ralph. Tatis. Vlad. Vlad Cup. Got an Annie Ball Sanchez Goldish. You should be ashamed of yourselves, Top, for, for calling that a gold card. You should be ashamed. 411 of 2020. It's going to Chad. Bo! Welcome to the Bo Show, Eric. Yeah, 
Moto. Nico. 85 Nico. All right, I gotta put the stack of cards. It's just too high to operate. Hold on. I get this stack out of the way. It's overwhelming me. Are the yellows inconsistent from Walgreens? I haven't seen very many people open up those Walgreens hangers. Yep, definitely underestimated the amount of cards in this break. Stacks. Stacks on stacks. SP in there? Did I miss one? Oh, it's put away now. All right, almost ready. Was it a max? All right, well, I'll, I'll find it when I'm sorting it. At least I'll try. I'm just gonna do these one on one, one by one. I didn't like doing a stack of these. Gypsy, you can do a stack, they're all faced in the same direction. And every pack doesn't have something, but with these, every pack's got something. Babe! Yeah, with, with Heritage and with Gypsy, you can just open all the packs and fly through them, no problem. But with these, I think it's better doing pack by pack. Lux. So that makes two, at least two Lux rookies. Is there nothing in this one? Yeah, it does feel like that a little bit. 80s arcade game. A lot of 80s vibing. Syndergaard. Tommy John, unfortunately. This pack feels thick, but they all kind of feel thick. What's up, Urban? What we got? What we got? Anything? Nothing. How about a how about a clear card? That's what we really want. Up north, well, I'm in Michigan. It's not technically up north. It's up north for some people. If you live in Detroit, it's up north. Aquino. Got the Cal. Decade's best. An Orioles hit, wouldn't you know? Rainbow? Eduardo Rodriguez. Going to Boston. Yeah, Michigan's way up north for some people. And what are we going to see here? Anything in this pack? 
there's that McGuire. But even in Michigan, you know, we've got UP. Aaron Savale. Gold ish. 17 12 of 2020. Going to Colin. A little bit of white right there. Base inserts for. If you're talking about Series 1, uh, I like the Choice. I like the Choice inserts. These ones are pretty nice too. I, I kind of like most of the inserts actually. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Flagship this year. I especially like the underrated aspect of the card. Uh, the quality of the card seems to be better this year. The flagship quality is better. It's glossier, smoother. There's a Jordan. The only problem, my my really my only complaint is the golds. Jordan. I like the golden ticket aspect. I mean, the tops not one suck. We can all agree on that. I think. But they're just kind of advertising for their own thing with the Tops Now cards. Yeah, color color consistency is a little rough, but I don't know. I like the 85 design. I like most of the inserts. Definitely like the silver packs. Yeah, that's right, Brady. Like, up north in Michigan just depends on your relative position. <laughs> like, if you're in Grand Rapids, like most of this, you know, depending on where you're at, most of the state is up north. Even when you're in Mount Pleasant, which is like halfway through, that's up north for a lot of people. But then when you're in Mount Pleasant, there's still more up north. Michigan, we've got a lot of weird stuff going on, especially our so-called governor. Oh, that's inconsistent, that coloring, for sure. Nothing here, eh? Okay. Probably missed an SP in there somewhere, guys, but it'll be there. It'll be coming your way. All right, this is the real, the origin of the dinger is this thin stock. Oh, that was pathetic. I'm used to the thick ones now. Okay, got a Nico Silver. Silver pack Nico. Nice card. Zach Gallon. Pitcher with goggles. Don Mattingly. And El Tuve. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. Yeah, up north collectors. I don't know where they're from, but unless they're in the UP, there's still more up north to go. Tech, like almost wherever you're at, the UP is considered up north. Okay. Do your thing, bud. This is a very important one. Very important, bud. But leave the best work to old Clayton. Smother. Smother your juices. Rob, you should see my sideburns. They are the most out of control they've ever been in my life. Like, my hair is pretty out of control, but my sideburns are ridiculous. They're so ridiculous, I don't even want to show you. I thought about shaving them today. But then it'd look even more ridiculous because my hair is a mop. Got to have moppy sideburns to go with it.
Robert Tribute Auto. Whoa. Chad. That would be sick. We need more. More more Clayton juices. Each pack gets a unique Clayton Claws soak to ensure full availability of luck. Calling a Bachette Rookie Auto. Here we go. Pack number one. Tell everybody to come back in. Okay, here we go. I'm going to let that soak. Let's look at the odds. Okay, so there are parallels. Greens, purples, reds. We want to get at least like a red parallel. Black would be spectacular. Got rookie parallels too. Greens, purples, reds, blacks. Greatest hitter autos. It's all kinds of stuff. No purchase. Do the no purchase necessary. Get a free tribute card. Why not? Oh, the goat. The goat. Ty Cobb. Detroit Tigers hit. These cards are beautiful. Man, are they nice. Wow. I'm going to take my time with it. Just enjoy it. He wow. He could have gone 0 for 2,547 at the end of his career and still batted 300 for his career. Wow. He hit 370 in a in a year he didn't win the batting crown. That's wild. In 1909, he was the sole player ever to win the quadruple crown. Wow. The GOAT. Okay. Every card's not going to be that long. That's just one of my favorite players. Okay. Here we go. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Tatis. Autograph. 70 of 99, baby. Going to Mark B. Oh, it's glorious. So glorious. Oh, man. That's so pretty. Yeah, I probably should open this, this one last, but who cares? Something told me you better open it right now. You got to see it. Oh man, is that sweet. Okay, we got to clear the we got to clear some room. Clear some room for these hits. I'm just going to We'll look at them all afterwards, don't worry, guys. Lewis, I know you want to steal center stage, but now is not the time for Lewis Brinson cards. Now is the time for Tatis. Oh, there it is. That is so awesome. All right, and then the last one is the Ken Griffey Jr. Only four AL home run titles by a Mariners player. Wow. These cards are so sweet. Okay, this one's been soaking for a while. Who's the bazooka? Some pitcher. Logan Allen. Okay, so we got a Vladdy Daddy. And a Ricky Henderson. And our hit. Dude, I was watching Leighton open these. How late? They're just like... And we got a, a dual relic with Mike Trout and Otani. And he just like tosses it to the side. I'm like... <laughs> So pathetic, dude. Liven up a bit, my man. 
All right, here we go. Oh, it's a freaking ball! Bam! You called it. Someone called it. Bam! Yeah! It's going to Eric. Oh, this is already so sweet. Oh, it's already so sweet. Oh, this, you should see. I got the biggest smile on my face. This is so awesome. I love Tribute. Tribute, my new favorite. Oh, like my two favorite players. Wow. Woo! Clayton is doing his job, I'll tell you. How about a double dinger? Is it possible? I'll be like Gambit. Oh, I got a double dinger too. Guys, what is up? How can it get any better? Yeah, they don't care. Leighton's all about the, the Benjamins. That's all they care about. I don't blame them. Okay, got a Goldie. And a Lou Gehrig. Can we get a Jordan? Oh, please be an Astudio. Is he in the checklist? We gotta get an Astudio out of this. Oh, great call, Greg. Okay, come on. I don't know which way it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, a Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan and Garrett Cole. Wow. Wow. Anything Nolan Ryan is so awesome. Look at that. That's like an old school old school relic too. That is sick. Going to Houston. Colin. Wow. Number to 50. I mean, that uh, as far as pitchers go, that's the one you want. Sick. It's a thicky too. Okay, every hit's been good. Let's keep it going. This one's real thick. This is the thickest one. I almost feel like we should save that one for last. Let's just do it. Oh, this has got four in it. Four cards in this one. Okay. Well, not sure how to go about opening it, but okay, we got a Tony Gwynn to 99. Not, oh, that's an eBay 101. 99 of 99. Going to the Padres. Mark B. And each one has a separator. That's good. And the Chris Bryant. Let's pull this up. I don't know what this means. Do we get a another autograph in here? Let's just see what this is. Oh, it's a Kyle Lewis. <clears throat> so a free Kyle Lewis, number to 450. Going to the Mariners. Brandon K. So that's why this pack was so thick. Four cards usually means rookie, gotcha. Okay, here it is. Are they all horizontal hits? That's a leg. Here we go. Lance McCullers Jr. Stamp of Approval. These stamp of approval ones are awesome because 
you can actually go in and put the code in and find out what game that was from. So another Houston hit. Colin. So that one's numbered out of 150. Wow, that is a heavy card too. That was a mess. All right, Tops Tribute, awesome. A hundred likes, great idea, Roan Bear. Let's get to a hundred likes, that'd be a record. You guys wanna help me set a record? You know what to do. Personal record. Okay, we got De Jong. One away from a hundred. You guys are spectacular. Chipper. And Cali Kid, what's up, brother? Dude, we were talking about Taylor Ward the other day because he he has rookie cards in this year's stuff. Isn't that wild? Why would he have rookie cards in this year's and last year's? All right, here we go. Oh man, that looks like Bo's hair again. Is it another Bo? It's another Bo! Two Bo autos, this one's numbered to 150. Wow, isn't that funny how I can tell that it's Bo just based on his hair? Just the slightest bit of hair, I'm like, that's my boy. Number to 150, wow. Sick. Eric, dude. Okay. <laughs> this box. Woo! I know, this is the best box I've seen opened. I've only watched like one case break, but McCullers, step to the side. Two bows, unbelievable. And we got one pack left. It's been everything that was advertised and more. Beautiful autographs. Clayton did his job. I think Clayton deserves a raise. Speak of the devil. Look at that. Let's just take a gander. There he is. Are you trying to tell us something, Clayton? What are you trying to tell us? Hopefully your pal DeGrom didn't bring any other pitchers with him. Hopefully you guys left all your pitcher friends at home for this next hit. Only 80 to 100 on those bows. Uh, that's a good price. It's a green. These ones are pretty rare. Okay. I'm going to drop it. It's a Yankee. It's an Aaron Judge. Triple relic with a pinstripe in there. Numbered to 99. Going to Cubby. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful design. All around. Wow. What a box. Ok, 
Okay, break number one has been fire. Break number two coming up next. Of course, I already said it. I'll say it again. We don't have the tribute box for that one. It's in limbo in the mail. It'll probably be here by tomorrow, I hope. But there's no telling because of the situation. Okay, holy cow. Well... Let's go through the hits for break number one. There's a lot of them. We got the Lewis Brinson French French text. Randy Johnson Relic. You Darvish Auto. The rare You Darvish Auto. We got the Torkelson and Bregman combo. Number to 999. Cole Tucker Auto. The Bobby Witt Jr. Blue Schmancy. Look at that thing. Blue Aquino. Uh, this is the uh, vintage stock Cardinals to 99. And a McGuire game used relic. We got two nice trouts the silver and the die cut. And another PSP. We got the same one in the last break. So we got two of these commemorative medallions, Miguel Cabrera and Jose Altuve. This is one of the strangest cards I've ever seen. Very strange. Because he's just like, eh, like he doesn't even look that excited. He's getting, I mean, he's excited enough to raise his arms up, but whatever. Indigo, out of Eno. Number to 250. And a bazooka back. All kinds of nice little gems here. Logan Allen. We got double Kofax. Double Kofax SPs. What are the odds of that? It's wild. And then we got this dude. Forget who that is. Oh, Danny Duffy. Danny Duffy missing nameplate. We got another missing nameplate. Not numbered. Cruz. Uh, seems thicker. But and the double Babe Ruth. Wild. Aaron Judge, triple relic. Beautiful. Green to 99. The Nolan Ryan Garrett Cole dual relic to 50. McCuller stamp of approval. Remember these ones you can check out. You can see the actual game that it was used in. It's numbered to 150. Dual Boba Shats. Can you believe that? My boy. That one's to 150. That one's to 199. Spectacular. Can't get enough of it. And the green Tatis to 99. Sick. What a break. All right, let me get the next one set up, guys. It'll only take a couple minutes. Clear the stage. Give it a little sweep, sweep. Stick around. Because we've got loads more gravy. Music's getting a little bit intense too. Like this is the one where they're walking down a dark alley. This is the music. Outside of the Turkish Bazaar, they're walking down that dark alley and there's a shady character that's walking towards them. And this music's playing. And he's reaching in his pocket. You don't know what he's got in there. What's he doing? Is it a gun? Is it... A box of baseball cards? Who knows? But the music sets the tone. That it's probably something bad.
one thing is certain. It's a mystery. Oh boy, okay. Sweep, sweep. super chat from brett best box all around tribute that you've seen yeah yeah that was awesome thanks man appreciate that super chat that box was amazing i think just about anybody would love to open that okay i think i think we're ready you guys ready to randomize let's do it gotta pull up the next break on my laptop here. Here it is. Okay. All right, guys. Tribute break number two. Teams first. Randomize them three times. There's one. There's two. And three. Oakland. Leading off. How many times? One plus six, seven times. Lucky seven. This one might be special. <coughs> There's one, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. Oh, wrong one. All right, here we go. Leading off, Diamondbacks. Diamondback Zach. Braves, Brian K. Orioles, Charles C. Red Sox, Nick B. Cubs, Shannon. White Sox, Zach B. Reds, Kenny. Indians, Jason H. Rockies, Michael O. Tigers, Scott A. Astros, Brian K. Royals, Kenny. Do we got two Kennys in this one? Yes, we do. Reds are Kenneth W. Royals are Kenneth D. Angels, Brian A. <clears throat> Dodgers, Mark B. Marlins, Mark B. Brewers, Brian A. Twins, Corey G. Mets, Chad P. Yankees, Chad J. Athletics, Chad P. Phillies, Cubby. Pirates, Chad P. Padres, Chris L. Giants, Chad J. Mariners, Christopher E. <clears throat> Cardinals, <clears throat> excuse me. Kenny W. Rays, Brandon K. Rangers, Chris H. Jays, Jeff V. Nationals, Joel D. So I added some letters just so we don't get the names mixed up like that one time. Let me drop the link.
Wrong bear. With the sticker chat, my man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Okay, you got your team? Sweet, Papa. All right, let me print off my copy. There we go. And like I said, I we don't have the tribute box for this break on hand right now. It didn't arrive in the mail. I don't know. It's just in limbo right now. It was supposed to come on Saturday. But we'll rip that tomorrow before the auction. If it comes by then, we'll rip it as soon as I get it. But we got a bunch of boxes to open in the meantime. All the rest of the boxes in this break. All right, be right back. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Oh, fajitas for dinner. I'm really hungry. That's making me hungry. I love Mexican food. Brave the wilderness, head T Bell after this. Okay, what do we want to do here? Taco Tuesday. Oh. I miss Taco Tuesdays at the restaurants that are closed. I've got a Mexican restaurant in town that I love to frequent. They have Taco Tuesday. I can eat a solid. I mean, my record is 13. I've eaten 13 tacos on a Taco Tuesday. And they're legit, normal sized tacos. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. May all of your dreams come true. Oh yeah. Dude, Mexican food in Texas is unbelievable. I don't know if anybody's, I don't know how, like if this is a franchise or not, but in Dallas they've got Papacitos. Oh my God, the Mexican food there is amazing. Lindor, that's not a SP, is it? No, it's not. Got a Vladdy and a Tanaka. Rainbow. Going to Chad J. Oh, I'm so hungry, Mark. I'm so hungry, I got, I've got to. Patrick knows about Popsitos. Yes, yeah, legit. Don Sutton. Nothing crazy. Starting from scratch, it feels so so bare. The Hall of Hits, the stage feels so bare. Yeah, I haven't had any issues ordering cards. Oh, there's a nice one online as far as uh, from eBay individual boxes or anything like that being searched or 
but I don't usually, I haven't bought anything off eBay in a while. So we got a goldish Dustin May. That's a nice card. 514 of 2020. Dustin May is good. Another one of those rookies, because he's a pitcher. Nobody's talking about him, but he's got the stuff. Sports kids calling the rookie medallion. Bryce Harper. Well, Cubby would be happy, because that would be going to him. Lazardo. Correa. Eloy. I think that's the first one of those I've seen. The 85. Yeah. He looks like Carrot Top minus the ridiculous steroid muscles. Okay, he got a Yordan out of the deal. Sweet Yordan. Who's got the Astros this time? Brian K's got them. Got the Vladdy insert, Goldschmidt, home run challenge. Going to Kenny W. The Goldie. <laughs> Baby Thor for me. Yeah, he kinda. Yeah, I see it. I can see it. Clayton, top's choice, and another Goldie, a Goldie kind of box. Oh yeah, Carrot Top's face, that poor guy, sheesh. Something about him not being comfortable in his own skin. Plastic surgery, steroids, crazy hair. Hey, there's a Bryce, Chrome Turkey Bryce. That's going to Cubby. And a Tatis. All right, let's see. Called the Bryce. And not a Bryce. It's a strawberry. Going to the Mets. Chad P. All right, the stage is not naked anymore. Let's just pump out another one of these. We'll just go right down the line. I think this one needs a little special treatment. A little special treatment. Top looks like Eddie Vedder now. I haven't seen him in a while. Either of them. So. Let's get something good out of here. I still have only seen one of the blue parallels of this of this Vladdy, too. Look at all those likes. You guys are the greatest. 116 likes. That is a for sure live stream record for me. Oh, what do we have here? What do we got here? I have not seen this card. That is a, a special wit. It's an 84. Is that just the straight up SP? Pretty sweet. Paul Paul says Independence Day Aquino coming up. Okay. Old man wit. Look how old he is? He's 31. But 
That's spectacular. Kenny D. With the Royal set. Is that an SSP? Eighty-four. Okay, so it's a regular SP. It's pretty wild, though. I mean, I haven't seen that before. <clears throat> it's definitely a different look, but that's cool. Okay, we got a Yordan. Things are going well. Things are already going well. Got an SP. Got a Yordan. Got a Ty Cobb. Die cut. Look at that. What a box, man. Got a die cut and a SP and a Yordan. What a blaster box. Can hardly ask for anything better out of a blaster. Thanks, Tim. That's a player's weekend SP. Is that, is that like a special? Hmm. Okay, there's a Lux. We're, we're rolling. We're officially rolling for break number two. So who got the Dodges? Who got the Dodges? Mark B got the Dodges. Here's our Chrome. It is Zach Gallon. This year's Duplantier, Zach Gallon. Tops Blasters are 20 bucks. Unless you get them at Meyer, then they're 22 bucks. And every once in a while, they'll have them on sale, different websites. Here's a Vladdy. Defensive Denial. Well, yeah, but not in the way that they're making it seem. How long till Vladdy goes to first or DH? Yeah, the Players Weekend, that's a, hair, um, a Gypsy Queen thing. But that is the Players Weekend jersey, the white. But the actual, like, special players weekend one is a gypsy Ian Desmond rainbow foil going to Michael Michael O got one pack left roller coasters how's it hanging He just lets the ball hit him. He's standing there in like a perfect defensive position, and the ball just bounces up, bounces up, hits him in the belly, perfectly falls into his glove, and then he flips it over to second, and then to first for the double play. That's how Vladdy rolls. The unconventional double play. And he pet it. And a judge. Gobbler. All right, who's it going to be? Who we got here? Somebody good? Let me feel. See if I can feel where the medallion is. Okay, it's in the top top left. Top left medallion. If that's a good hint for anybody. Okay. The Eddie Murray. Look at that. Mm mm. Good one. Going to the Orioles. So we got a couple Orioles. Going to Charles. So we got plenty of Gypsy. In the last Gypsy, we ended up with four SPs. I say, what do you guys want to do? Let's wait on the Gypsy. Let's do the Heritage. We'll get the Heritage out of the way. Do the Heritage and the Gypsy. And then we'll do the hobby. Got two hobby boxes. Let's 
so we got a French text out of the last one. We got a bazooka back out of the heritage or out of the gypsy. What's good in here? Let's let's try to bring something into existence. A mini. We could get a mini. That'd be sweet. We haven't gotten any real one autos. Nicknames are incredibly rare. And also we're looking for a tattoo. So we're looking for the real good stuff. Nothing but the best will do. Doing a dual blaster pile. Just gonna do the piles. Heritage hot box. That would be nice. Alas, I don't think we got one in this box. Yeah, Hotbox has those perps. Celebrity? What is that, Roan Bear? Did you see something on the screen? Is there a chance to get a celebrity something? Oh. Cut signature. Oh, okay, there's two really rare things. Celebrity and cut signature. There's all kinds of ridiculous stuff. <clears throat> Postal stamp relic, too. So much ridiculous. <laughs> That's the thing about Heritage. They have cool stuff, but man, man, are they hard to pull. Not seeing any hot box stuff. Look for that yellow. Yellow means French text. It's almost like you gotta get a case of Heritage Hobby in order to get, I think you get like two real ones out of a case. Hey, we got a relic. Look at that, did you see that? Got a relic on that one. Nothing too crazy here, but we'll check it out anyway. We'll flow through this. And a chrome, okay. Things are looking good. We got a guaranteed chrome here. It is a J.D. Davis. J.D. Davis chrome. Going to Brian. Brian K. I'm going to set that there. I'll sleeve it up in just a minute when we're done. New Age Performer. Springer. Pete. Home Run Leaders. Ugh. I think that was a Cabrera short print. Where are the good rooks, man? Such a big checklist, it's hard to pull the good rookies. Let's see what short prints we got out of here. There's one, Grandal. Oh, it was. It was a short print. Sorry, Christopher. Sorry about your luck. I wanted to just pass him over like he didn't even exist. And another one. So we did get three short prints out of this one. Morton. At least three. Three is pretty much the max that I've seen. See what we got here. I'll leave that one. Okay. Any good rookies? Any chromes? What do we have here? It's a. Oh, we got a sticker! <laughs> of course, it's a. No way. Or a tattoo, I mean. It's the Marlins. Alfaro and Yamamoto. Can you believe that? 
Got the tat. Look at that. A lot of things rhyme with that. We got the tat. Would you look at that? I know. I got to stop. Okay. So much gravy in today's break. I had to call it out. Like I said, you got to tell, you got to tell that old box what you want to see out of her. <laughs> Sounded bad. Mark, that one's going to you, man. Isn't that wild? What is going on? Did we already look at all those? No, we did not because we got a bow. Going to Jeff. Yeah, those are rare, man. Let's, what was it? One out of 700? Those tattoos, they are one out of 728 for those tattoos. All right, and a relic. What kind of a blaster box is this? We got a relic and a tattoo. This is the best blaster box. All right, here we go. You guys ready? It's happening in three, two, one. Aaron Nola, going to Cubby. Got an Aaron Nola. Cubby was just asking me for an Aaron Nola relic. And I said, never. I'll never give up my Aaron Nola relic. But he got his own. Now we can proudly display it with all of it. I think he'll put it right next to his Riley Green one of one. There can't be anything else in here, can there? How about a Yordan? So, the greatest heritage blaster box of all time has the Yordan and a Kino duel. It goes to the Houston Astros. And that bow. Can you believe it? What else is in here? How many short prints do you think? Two bow, what? Two bows? Oh, those are out of two boxes, aren't they? I keep forgetting that. Whatever. Two boxes. Doesn't matter. Let's see. David. That short print. I'm just putting both of these blasters into the category of one box. I know it's cheating, but Hunter Renfro, high number. And another, the Sano high number. And that's it. Wow. I never expect anything out of Heritage and when you get something, it's just kind of like, oh, now I get it. Now I get it. Because it's pretty boring when you don't get anything good. So we ended up with a stack of short prints. And a chrome. These are numbered to And a sticker and a relic. I'll say that was a success. Okay. Same strategy. Gotta come up with a name for this. The two blaster box extravaganza. $2 Super Chat from Rob. Great work, Striker. Thank you, man. I try. We got some greens to look forward to. If 
Found a box of tribute for 300. Yeah, that's a that's basically like the the cost. I think cost was like 271. So like card shop paid like $271 for that box. So to get it for 300 is the card shop saying, "Okay, I'm not going to make any money." Kind of silly. But whatever. Thank you. I passed Lux in May. They'll be in there. I always pass Lux in May because I just see May. So I just keep going. For the super chats, oh man, I don't really know how that works. Probably just put your credit card in there. Or... I've done super chats. I don't remember what I had to do though to to get in on it. I think I probably had a credit card already associated with my YouTube account because I have YouTube Premium, and I had to pay for that, so it was already in there. And I had memberships on a couple sites. Ooh, good call, Colin. Colin says, the key to finding cheaper sports cards is going to card shops that really like, like magic cards and Pokemon cards. Good call. I did, I found a uh, online card retailer that fit that bill. And they were a little bit cheaper, but they charged tax and a ridiculous amount of shipping. And it ended up being the same price when it was all said and done. Dude, they charged me almost $60 in shipping for, what was it? Six boxes of cards. Most most card retailers like give you free shipping on stuff. But they charged me tax and shipping. So it was by the time all that was done, they were just this normal price. You got a printing plate. Sweet. Yeah, hey, check it out. Pawpaw on the bottom of all my videos. You could just click on a video. My address is on there. Anybody who wants to send me some friend mail, P.O. Box 292, Lapeer, Michigan, 48446. So we got an Aquino already. It's a good start. Who got the? Oh, yeah, Kenny. Kenny got the Aquino. Otani, fortune teller. I have that one in my PC. I was thinking about including... There's I have so many cards to that I wanted to put in the auction, but only so much time. I didn't want to be at it for like seven days straight. So, But if the auction goes well, we'll do more. What are we getting out of here? Anything good? What's up with this box? Come on. Come on. Come on. Nothing? Did I miss something? Did I miss something? Oh, yeah. Pawpaw's got him. No bazookas? Oh, that's why. It's a Matt Boyd bazooka. Can you believe we got another bazooka back? Look at that. Hiding in there. Bazooka hiding in the pack. Unbelievable. Going to the Tigers. Going to Scott. Matthew Boyd. I bet you he will be a Yankee before it's all said and done. How did I miss that? Bo Bichette Wheel of Fortune? Okay, well, that was a pretty good blaster, eh? Let's see what this one has. We still we've got two of these green packs left, too. 
Um, for the auction, it's going to be PayPal. And if you win a card in the auction, what you do is you email me if you bought any cards. And you email me with your user, your YouTube name, and then your address, your real name, and your address, so I can ship, so I have your shipping info. And then I will send you your total, and then you pay with PayPal. Those bazooka backs are. Where is that? GQ. One out of 81. One out of 81 packs, so. Pretty rare. Bellinger. The Star. Dustin May. And a Vladdy. Keston Fortune Teller. Trout. Nothing in that one? That's odd. Do we have another bazooka situation? We got another bazooka! It's a David Fletcher! Unbelievable! What luck! Two bazookas! Back to back boxes. Unreal. Look at that. Can you believe that? Wow. Well, that's how you know. If you didn't get your little special something, you probably got yourself a bazooka. Unreal. We still got the two green packs. Yeah, Caden says Angel fans would pay a pretty penny for that. Yeah, the bazookas, you could you could sell a bazooka. Bazookas are desirable. Nobody in there, eh? Dylan Cease. Not as many Dylan Cease cards as I thought. I thought we were going to be seeing Dylan Cease cards like, like he was the next O'Hearn. Couple of nothings. Well, what do you say? Just keep up with the gypsy. Got two gypsy monster boxes. Let's just keep it up. We're on a crazy streak with the bazookas. Someone pulled the fortune teller 101. Yordan out of a blaster. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is in value. I'm going to let Clayton soak on these silvers. Can we get another bazooka back? How about an auto? We need an auto. Brian, not paying big money for Fletcher. CEO of bazooka backs. Well, it's funny that we didn't see it, or at least I didn't. I'm not really looking. Like, I'm just looking over at the chat when I'm doing this. But I didn't see it when I was opening. You got the Fortune Teller Yelich 101 out of a value pack. Wow. That's unbelievable. Paw Paw looking for the Aquino. Oh yeah, you got the five hits in the one Don Russ box. I remember that. Uh, 
Okay. I don't know what that was. Where's our something something? What are we gonna get out of this one? How about... I, I still, I'm looking for an auto. I wanna get an auto. It's like, if you want the auto, you don't go this route, but they're still in there. Nameplate for Mr. Means. Orioles hit, Charles. The McKay fortune teller. The Bow Show. Jeff V. And the Robert. About time we got that Robert. He's been very hit or miss. Sometimes we pull him a lot. Other times, very rare. I mean, we've opened quite a few. And this is the first Robert we've got. I know, the Orioles hits. Where's our SP? Gonna get one out of here? Okay. That was an uneventful monster box so far. We got the means. Let's see. Is there another? Is there another bazooka hiding in here? That would be ridiculous. Not this time. Let's see what we got. Silvers have been soaking. Silvers are soaking in Clayton juices. Let's get something big. Big silver. We got a big silver trout out of the last one. Can't all be winners. We this has to come front step front and center because that's a special one. All right, the last monster. And then we got two hobby boxes with hits. Yeah, that's right. They can't all be bangers. If they were all bangers, then they then none of them would be bangers. All right. There must be a hierarchy. Take time. We'll take our proper time with this one. Proper time. Bud, do your job. Quit complaining. I hear him off to the side complaining. Always complaining. There we go. Fortune Teller Aquino Auto. I got this. Did you see that, Mark? You got a freaking tattoo, dude. The ones you wanted too, the Yamamoto Alfaro. This one's got to be better than the other one. This is my last Gypsy Queen monster box. There are no more. So let's make it count. 
we got to call it out. What do we want out of here, guys? Want an auto. We, we got the last thing we asked for. Of course, we asked for a lot of things, but... Pull-up sock auto relic. Those are only one out of 68,000 packs. What do you think? Oh, how about an auto lineup card relic? One out of 103,000. Has anybody seen one of those get pulled? The lineup card relics? You want me to auction that off, Mark? Hank Aaron Bazooka back. Ooh. Booklet? Oh, that'd be ridiculous. Okay. It's a nice one. A blue Ramirez. Sorry, an indigo to 250. Jose. Going to Jason. So we're already better than that last uh, monster box. Okie doke. Will do, Mark. I'll mention it one more time. Any of the slammers that want to help me out with the auction, shoot me an email. I need just one, one or two people to help me out with the auction tomorrow. There's a Lux. Yelich. Got a Nico Soto. Okay. Is there a bazooka? That always throws me off the tarot cards. Nope. It's down to the silvers. Auction the Carter to 25. Do I have one of those? Cunha Sock Relic is listed for 3500 on eBay. Wow. I don't know. I don't know if I got it. Here we go. Another silver trout. Look at that. Going to Brian. Brian A. Nice. I'm gonna sleeve that one up. Put it on display. Hey, the silver lux. Okay, we're getting all kinds of good ones in this. Silver lux going to Mark. Couple of good ones. Devers. Okay, got some nice silvers finally. I don't know how many, oh, you know what? I do have a, a Marlin I can put in the auction. I got an Alfaro encased auto. I'll put that one up. I need to maximize my space a little bit better. Two bazookas. Is 
It's a blinding light there. Okay. Here we go, guys. Three hits. Let me clear the stage off just a little bit. Tattoo donated to the auction. Sweet, dude. Appreciate that. Okay. Just clearing some of these cards out, guys. It'll be just a minute. Yeah, I think... I think I estimated the print run of uh, the Gypsy Hobby. I made a video with um, it's the the value sheet, but also at the end I included some production numbers. But we can't we don't know full production numbers because there's nothing exclusive to the retail that, that's numbered, so we can't really figure out the full production. But I estimated it at 3,000 cases, or about 3,250. In between 3,000 and 3,250 cases of Gypsy Queen were made. So you can see why the prices are going up so much because there's not that many hobby boxes. And these hobby boxes, man, when they were around 100 bucks, and you get the two guaranteed autos, whew, good value. All right. This one is getting a bill hook. The auction will be about seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time, but I'm gonna start the stream up a little earlier, hoping that this box of tribute comes tomorrow. So I can rip that box of tribute for this break and then we'll do the auction. And if the auction's going well and everybody's crushing and having a good time, Lord knows I have enough cards, we can add more cards to it. I mean, you guys can just request cards too and I'll see what I can find in my collection. Because I only PC a few players, so I'm willing to auction up a lot of good stuff. I mean, I say I only PC a few players, but if you looked at my collection, you'd be like, it looks like you PC the entirety of all of Major League history. And I would have to say, yeah, I know. It does look like that, doesn't it? Even my Kikuchi collection is out of control. My Kikuchi collection would make a grown man squirm. Yep, tomorrow. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's see what Don Russ has in store for us. Here's another one of those awesome now playing. Love it. The Pete. Schmancy as all. Excellent. All right, that one's going to Chad P. Got a blue. Blue Buster. You've started PCing Hall of Fame on card autos. That's a great PC. Can't go wrong with that. Laser! That one's going to Chad as well. Chad P, that is. Because we got Chad J and Chad P in this break. You pulled an Alonzo Bazooka. Yeah, yeah. That is snazzy. Sandoval, blue. So, it seems like that last one... That last box of this had a numbered card in every pack. I don't think this one does. Shill or Relic? Let's play Shill or Relic. It's a Shill. Mookie. Oh, ho, ho. that was a good one. I'm going to break that light. 
That's that's gonna be sad when I break that light. It'll happen during a stream. Small price to pay for a dinger. Oh, wow. I have not seen one of these. Have you guys seen one of these with the baby shark swimming around in the top? That is snazzy. Devers. Really? That's going to Nick B. You spent one hour of your day just trying to wrap Godzilla as fast as you could. Yeah, that seems like a tough rap job. You're talking about... Wait a minute. You're talking about like rapping? Or like rapping? Like Go Go Godzilla? Were you rapping that? Go Go Godzilla! But rapping it? I don't know how to hand motion rapping. The R rap. Here we go. 236. Joey Gallo. Career runs batted in. Going to Chris. Aaron Judge. Blue. And a Trout Diamond King. They have one of ones like that too on the DKs, really. With the, the little things in the background. Here's something spectacular. Cole Wilcox. These look spectacular. This one's to 349. The one we got out of the last box was to 999. Max Scherzer are on the back, so that's going to Joel D. Look at that. Bregman. Got a Lux rookie. Going to Mark. Sathicky. I never got a Bryce 101. Chris Paddock. Shill. Oh, that one almost smacked me. Those shills are too thick. They got me worried about breaking that light now. Got an auto. Auto alert. Auto alert. Here we go. Ready for the flip? Flipping in three, two, one. Zing. Edwin Rios. Going to Mark. Man of Steel Ricky and a Yordan rated rookie. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure who Edwin Rios is, but yeah. What's up, Scope? We doing great. Brian Anderson Star Card. Rendon. Blue. Bruzda. How many hits? Lots. Lots. You should have seen that last box of tribute. Unbelievable. If you didn't see it, you got to go back and watch. Mookie to 74. That's a sweet one. 74 extra base hits. 
pretty rare one, number to 74. Going to Nick B. Gary Carter Blue. It makes me wonder when they sneak one of these in between those old school cards. It makes me wonder what that's all about. Shill or Relic. It's got to be a shill. Altuve to 650. Shill. That one came right back. Fail. Blue Pete. Yeah, tribute, super clean. Big time hits, dude, you gotta go back and watch. I don't even wanna give it up. You gotta go back and watch, cause they're like all big hits out of that box. Trey Turner blue. Real thick one. Got a real thicky here. Another shill, I, I, I fear. Michael King. Season one. You got a one whip. So that's, that's to 100. Interesting. Wow. That was a loud one. Wow. It's a real good dinger right there. That's a good sign. A, that's a good sign. We got something good coming up. And this is the song where you're walking up a staircase in a haunted house, but you don't really know if it's haunted or not. It's just kind of creepy. You're at your great aunt's mansion and she passed away and you need to house sit. And that's what song this is. And you're walking up the stairs and you're like, wow, this is really creepy. Look at that giant chandelier, some cobwebs on it. What was that that just went by in my peripheral vision? A ghost? I don't know. Probably not a mean one, because the, you know, because the music's telling us that it's not a really mean ghost, but a ghost nonetheless. Okay, Chris McMahon, and on the back, AJ Puck. So this is going to the A's. Chad P. A blue Clayton. Dustin May. Kyle Hendricks, a blue one, or a blue star, whatever the heck that is. Willie Calhoun, come on. Time for something big. Oh, my stomach's growling. I'm fiending some Mexican food. Oh, what I wouldn't give. I, oh, just a giant plate of nachos. Oh, okay, gotta stop thinking about nachos. Travis Demerit to 58. Look at that guy. A career 58 total bases. Crushing Travis. Oh, back to back. One is not good enough. Two might do the trick. I can't stop, Mark. Did you hear my stomach? It was loud enough where you could have heard it just then. Relic or shill. We got the 100. And it's Tyrone Taylor. That's a new name. Tyrone. To 100. Oh, do you hear that one? There's another one. Stomach's going crazy. Wow. Wow. That's loud. Bryce, blue Bryce. Going to Cubby. Tyrone in the house. All right. We, did we get three of these in this box? 
three of these USA ones. That was the 9.99 Casey O'Peets and Yasmani Grandal, the newest White Sox. So let's go to the White Sox. Tatis. And this song right here is when, like, the teenage girl, she's laying on her bed, maybe, like, drawing in her diary or something. And, like, the high school boy with the long hair, swinging hair, she's thinking about him. And then it pans over to what he's doing. And he's at baseball practice with all his boys, having a good time. And they're like, so what's with you and Sarah? And he's just like, oh, nothing, man, nothing, nothing. And you're like, yeah, we saw you with her last week. That's what song this is. Okay, the auto. Ready? Flipping in three, two, one. Oh, baby, a Juan Soto. Yeah. Wait, is that numbered? It's not numbered, but that is something. Look at that, classics, I haven't even seen one like that. Awesome, going to Joel. Got yourself a Soto Auto, dude. Everybody loves Juan Soto autographs. Boom. Boom, baby. Love it. I haven't pulled that many Soto autographs in my life, but every time I do, it feels special. He's just got such a lovely autograph. That one is a little condensed because he just had a little bit of room to work with there. But that's a sweet one. Natural Bat Relic, that would be sweet. Acuna. And it's the actual relic this time, not a shill. Here we go. Saving the best for last. Hopefully. Actually, that Soto is going to be tough to beat. Boom! Giancarlo Stanton. Going to the Yankees. Chad J. So, Stanton is... You know, we were talking about this the other day. I think he's my sleeper pick for comeback player of the year. I don't know how much of a sleeper that is, actually, but he could be comeback player of the year easily. Dude, he could get out of the gate. If it happens, who knows if baseball is going to happen this year or whatever. But he could just come out of the gate leading the league in home runs easily. And he, he can hit at a high enough average. It's not the highest, but he can hit at a high enough average where he could, he could get MVP. Got the bow-rated rookie. But imagine that, getting MVP and comeback player of the year, same year. Everybody thinks the Yankees are going to crush. They're not going to crush as much without him. So. That's all I have to say about that. The Jim Rice star. Star card. Going to Boston. It's a really thick one. Wow, I'm doing much better with the dingers today. I don't know. I don't know if Soto's prices have dropped. I don't know why they would. Got a fire card. It's upside down for some reason. Abraham Toro to 75. Going to Brian K. Wade Boggs. Ooh, Yoshimoto. And Yamamoto. Uh -huh -ho. What do we have there? Yamamoto, Yoshimoto. Here we go. Another one of these. Is that four? Austin Martin, another one of the top picks. To 149. That's a special one. It's a red one to 149. That's the lowest number I've seen out of these. That one's going to... Oh, Chipper's on the back. Interesting. It's going to Brian K. the Braves. That's a sweet one. 
I like that. So it's either this guy or Torkelson that are going to be the number one pick, I believe. At least that's what they're talking about. And we got the blue nickname of Acuna. El de la Sabana. Okay. That's that. And last, we got another hobby box. Can we get a clear? Can we finally get a clear out of here? I don't know. I'm sure hoping. We'll put, put Soto over here off to the side a little bit. So you can still see that bazooka. And the hobby box gets a bill hook. Nice and smooth. Clear Aquino. Call it out. That's what you want. Do my best. It's not going to be long before the Marlins start fielding a team. Got a lot of young good players. But their owner doesn't really care, it doesn't seem like, about fielding a good team. He kind of just cares about that residual moolah. I could be wrong, but that's what it seems to me. Because remember when he remember that year that he signed all those players and then just like big contracts all around. He's done it a couple times, but big contracts all around and then just traded them all away and they couldn't compete. Jeter doesn't own them though, does he? Or is he just partial, partial owner? Wasn't there that one guy for a while who was doing that? I mean, I'm not up to date on the Marlin stuff, but that's just what strikes in my mind. You would know, William. Okay, that was Loria. Got, yep. Gotcha. Okay, well, that's good for you guys then. So he just wanted to make some money. He just raised the value of the team or something and then flipped it. And he was getting all that, making all the money. The What do they call that when they... Put, they pool all the money together and they distribute it and his payroll was so low that he just made like all that money in profit yep 1.2 billion revenue sharing thank you William you must be ecstatic that Jeter's in there now because you know he wants to win Lindor starting off with a home run challenge Lindor Marlins Park, massive. Got a Pete, 85. Oh, you got you got yourself a Devers. Nice. Holiday. I've got for th this year when the holiday boxes come out again. I've got a little something special planned because I have I've got 2019, 2018. I guess I've only got those two. I got 2019 and 20, so I'll have three to do. 18, 19, and 20 holiday boxes this year for a little break for us. Oh, we got a blue. We didn't get a blue out of the last box, I, I didn't think. It's a laser, a blue laser. Now, of course, these aren't numbered, but they are rare. That's a sweet one, I love that pick. He looks like he's just ready to throw a laser from dead center all the way to home.
judge decades best. Dave says, when you get done, if you get a chance, check out your latest video. You pulled something pretty sharp out of a hot corner box. I will. Thank you for reminding me. Jordan. Come on, let's do it, let's get it. Got a trout on back, it's a good sign. I really want to pull a clear. Dustin May. Trout. Samuel. Samuel wants a shout out. Made a break page. Good luck with that. Okay, a goldish. I can't even say gold without feeling like I'm lying. Like that is not a gold, but okay. 830 of 2020. Brownish is right. It's not e like it's not even gold-ish, but I gotta say something. It's called a gold. Has anybody ever played Civilization for the PC? There's an Aquino. Civ 6 is a really good game if you guys like turn-based strategy. Oh, baby! Got a silver... Uh, sorry, rainbow. Rainbow foil Yordan. Nice hit. Brian. Look at that. Boom. That is standworthy, ladies and gentlemen. You've played that, Dave? Yeah, that's that's my go-to game in the winter when when there's not a whole lot of outside action happening. I finally got a chance to play it a little bit the other day. I'm pretty good. I took it all the way to the highest level, which is Deity. I'm trying to get my first win on Deity. And it's almost impossible. Most people keep it at Prince, which is like, I don't know, four levels of difficulty down from Deity just to make it winnable. But man, is that a tough one. Like Civ, I think it was Civ 4 or Civ 5. They came out with a version for like, what was it, Xbox, console, which is called console version. And a lot of like a lot of people got into it then, but the PC versions where it's at. Okay, here it is. Looks like we got another relic. Who's the relic gonna be this time? Last time it was Mark McGuire. This time it's Miguel Cabrera. Wearing goggles. I've never seen him wear goggles before. That's a rare one. Detroit Tiger Scott A. Miguel Cabrera, one of the greatest baseball players of all time. First ballot Hall of Famer, guaranteed. Not one, but two families. One of them secret. Where am I put him? I'm going to put Miguel off to the side so you guys can still see that sticker. Okay. A few more. That Rainbow Yordan... Um, oh, more than 10, dude. 
raw, yeah, like it's probably what thirty five raw. You get that sucker graded. If it comes back a good grade, then it'll go up significantly. Yep, nobody cares about Miggy anymore. Same with Pujols. Nobody cares until they retire and then go into the Hall of Fame, and then they'll be forever enshrined in history. No one will remember about Miguel's secret family. They'll only remember his numbers and his triple crown, MVP. Oh, cool, yeah. Samuel, I got um, probably like five Eloy rookies in the auction tomorrow. Different ones, all different ones. Austin Meadows, rainbow. But like Jordan, I wouldn't sell any of the, um, I don't know. I, I can't really say that because I don't know for sure. But like Jordan's going to come out this year and just make a name for himself. I mean, he, are, he already run, won rookie of the year, but dude is the truth. So I think he's going to come out and just keep crushing his stuff after the season starts. I think what will happen, as long as he continues, is uh, it'll be like the Acuna Soto effect where the second year they came out and started crushing again and people are like, oh, okay, so he really is really, really good and it wasn't a fluke. And then the stuff will have another upward trajectory so I pulled a uh, gold Jordan I sent it away to get graded and that's what my plan is I'm not going to sell it right away hopefully it comes back at 10 nothing in that one Dave, oh dude, go to uh, go to ultrapro.com before they're sold out. Buy some on ultrapro.com, get them shipped, dude. There's a, a set, there's a hundred top loaders and a hundred soft sleeves, and they're cheap, cheap-ish. I think it's t like 11 bucks for a hundred top loaders and a hundred soft sleeves. It's a good price. I just ordered some today because I'm in trouble too. I mean, I've got enough to get me through a couple more breaks, but who knows after that. I don't think they were cheating last year. At least that's what the report says, but who knows? Bo. Bo show. Who knows? Maybe they were. Maybe they had a different way of doing it. Because they started, they actually sent representatives into um, <clears throat> the replay room and down in the dugout so they couldn't get away with that crap anymore. Got another gold. 860. Blake. Going to the A's. Chad P. Senior Tops. $1.99 sticker chat. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. You're number one. Oh, I was going to say, this looks like something weird. It's the Trout. Top's choice, Mike Trout. Going to Brian. Brian A. Like, that's the one weird thing about the situation. Everybody wants to assume that they've just been cheating the last three years or whatever. Which is a, a great assumption because if you're a cheater, you're going to cheat until you get caught. And they didn't get caught until recently. So that, that's a great assumption, but you got to look a little deeper than that. 
because not only were they being warned on the regular once people started thinking that they were cheating, but yeah, they were sending representatives to actually monitor multiple places in all, like every team I think had that happening. Oh, did you get some? Sweet, Dave. And there's free shipping if you spend $25. I think it's 25. I've never ordered through them before, but, but I did now. Because of desperation. I already went through all the Meyer ones. I cleaned out Meyer. I bought, and this was just like last week or two weeks. Uh, how long ago was it? Maybe it was two weeks ago, but I bought. I think five or six of those 35 packs of top loaders and I'm on my last one. I think I have one, the last one. Here's a Gavin Lux. Pujols tops now. All right, three packs left and then a silver pack. And then nachos. The big unit die cut. Going to Zach. Top loaders, um, ultrapro.com has some left, but dude, they're sold out of 90% of their stock. So if you're going to get some, you might want to do it. There's an SP, Johnny Bench. Pretty sweet SP. Going to Papa. Look at those numbers. It's the 84. All right, last pack. And remember, guys, the tribute box. We will rip as soon as it arrives. I'm hoping it's going to come tomorrow and we'll rip it before the break. Or the auction. If it doesn't come tomorrow, we'll just do it when it comes. Chris Sale. Okay, we got a silver pack. And then we'll do the review of all the good cards. Those ones fly different than the shills. Hey, that's a good start. The Silver Pack Bow. Nice. And a Trout. Okay. That's a great start. Boom, boom. Excellent. Eh. DeGrom. And Ken Griffey Jr. That's a really nice Silver Pack. High quality Silver Pack. All right, let's look at the cards. Remember that? Remember the Bench SP? How about the Edwin Rios? Who's that, you might ask? You tell me. But he plays for the Dodgers. J.D. Davis, Chrome. Ty Cobb die cut. Eddie Murray, Orioles. Don't know why I had to say Orioles. <laughs> Daryl Strawberry, Rookie Retrospectives. My mind is on my stomach right now. Another SP. Quit. We got an indigo, Jose Ramirez. And a missing nameplate, Mr. Means. Out of nowhere. No one ever thought this guy was going to do anything. He actually had a good year. Old Johnny Means. Can you believe that? 4.5 pitching war. 
underrated pitcher. I'm going to draft him this year in my fantasy league because no one's going to care. Sneaky, sneaky, gee, Johnny Means. Aaron Nola. Relic. John Carlos Stanton, comeback player of the year. Uh -huh -huh. Might be a good bet in Vegas. Gavin Lux, silver. And another Mike Trout silver. Got the um, tattoo. The tattoo. Look at that thing. It's wild. Donated to the auction tomorrow. Thank you again, Mark B. Somebody's going to love that. Set that aside. We got the Rainbow Foil Alvarez. I think he's got something going on on the bottom there. I don't know what that is. Not one, but two bazooka backs. Fletcher and Boyd. The Miggy Relic. And Juan Soto Autograph. Isn't that something? aluminum foil card that'd be kind of cool all right guys it was fun this was a blast i'll see you guys tomorrow strikerbreaks.com tomorrow's the auction seven o'clock let's crush it's really fun wish me well with my nachos and i will catch you guys later